What I want to do is to, again, in terms of my personal experience, uh, to talk about mentoring. And I want to talk about mentoring because mentoring is very, very important for you both ways. Each of you should have a mentor who's above you in terms of the educational process. And each of you should be mentors to people below you in that process. I mentor many people, and I'm mentored by many people. You can't ever have too many mentors, OK? So those are things that you very definitely want to keep in mind. My mentor that I mentioned briefly is Lincoln Hawkins. Now, Lincoln Hawkins is a chemist. Uh, Lincoln Hawkins, you know, uh, the, the, the method of sheathing cable, telephone cables, power cables, and so forth, was to put lead around them. Okay, now you know, all know how heavy lead is and how, how hard it is to, to handle. And at one time, more people were hired by the telephone company to go and patch holes in these lead cables that squirrels would eat in it because squirrels love lead. And they just had a load of people that went around and just patched these holes that, uh, that, that lead ate in them. What Dr. Lincoln Hawkins did was to learn to teach how to cure polyethylene, a plastic, so that it would not degrade under UV radiation, under the radiation from the sun. Right, and uh, his patents and his uh, his um, uh, um, uh, in inventions are considered some of the most valuable to the world and, and at large. Right, and this is a black man. Okay, uh, everybody knows who the guy on the uh, on on the whichever side is the right side is. Right, who's that? Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Everybody knows him, but nobody knows this guy. But Jackie Robinson didn't enter baseball until 1946. Dr. Lincoln Hawkins was employed as a as a, 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 a as a uh, uh, as an investigator, as a research scientist at Bell Laboratories in 1942. So here again, there's a message here, and and that is that you look at sports and say, okay, sports sets a clock. It does not. Technology sets the clock. Right? And it's important for you to know that, that, that it's far easier for you to become a scientist than a professional athlete for a number of reasons. But the major one is that we need you, that science and technology really needs you.